Okay, so here we're going to look at diagnosing a plant problem and how to go about that. Not jumping to conclusions and just looking at a leaf or a plant and saying, oh, that's clearly this. Properly diagnosing, going through some stepwise process to classify the problem and diagnose it properly so that control measures can be implemented. So first off, you have to know the plant. You got to know what the plant looks like. Because in order to diagnose a potential issue, you need to know what the normal is. What's the plant look, what should the plant look like? And this could vary depending on the cultivar. Um, taking notes is good, continuing to uh, document pictures, because you want to know what the normal of the plant should look like. In addition, documentation is important, and this can help you track trends and changes over time. How the plant look last week? Your memory may not be as good as you think. Taking those pictures will allow you to refer to that. And those pictures are great, but also including captions is also important. Because those can include the conditions uh, that are all important um, information uh, to include. Not only the conditions, the temperature, which you might be noticing at the time, uh, how old the plant is, all good things to document. Then you want to classify the problem, and this involves three main groups, each having subcategories. The key is, again, not to jump to conclusions and try to be impartial. Proper classification will help you develop a plan of action. And those classifications are, is it a nutrient issue, it could be a toxicity or a deficiency, a disease, or grower-implemented um, kind of problem. So first off, for nutrients, uh, they tend to be um, across the field or in the same kind of run that we may see in a, in a grow operation. Uh, important to notice the placement of the issue in relation to the plant. Is it new growth or, or is it older growth? This is an example here of a nutrient deficiency. This is nitrogen in a cucurbit field. Here we could see low nitrogen, and as we progress this way, we get into more nitrogen. This is a field application. What was happening is that through heavy rains, the nitrogen was leaching out of here and running down the hill a little bit and kind of allowing these to have the proper amount of nitrogen and these to become deficient. We can kind of see that trend occurring in the field. And trends are common with nutrient issues. Now, disease can have a quick onset. You want to be sure you're checking both the tops of the leaves and also the underside of the leaves or many diseases will start. And lastly, we have a grower issue, and this is usually occurs in isolated cases. It could be poor if, um, hand watering or consistency with watering, breaking of the plant through mishandling, uh, not sp uh, spraying improperly, causing spray damage here, or applicator blight would be one example. Here we see an herbicide spray. Um, so these are ways that we want to go about in approaching when we're diagnosing an issue with our plants.